okay so this is a new series and here i will just talk about the advanced concepts of the level so in this episode we are going to talk about the form request validation how we will use that and what is that with that i'm your host sarthak and welcome back to bitfume and this is a channel where i talk about level view sas and sublime and much more things so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So I have this fresh installation of Laravel 5.4 and, and let's just go to Sublime here and go to Resources, Views and create a new Blade file called let's say form.blade.php and let's create HTML5 markup and here we have and let's just uh, for simplicity, we will call the bootstrap CDN. So bootstrap CDN and we only need the CSS file. Okay, so let's just get this file here, paste it here. Okay, and now what I will do here, just create a container, inside container, create a row. Inside row, I will create a div having call lg of uh, offset of uh, let's say 4 and having call lg of 4 so this is thing and here i will create a form which having method of post and we will create the action very soon so post and firstly create csrf token field so we will know csrf underscore field uh, field okay and now let's create a div of form group so form group inside that i will give a text box having name of name okay and similarly one more for email and for both of these I will give class of form control form control so these are the things okay and one more for the submit button okay simply and no name for submit button type is submit and class will have btn btn success so let's create a route for this file so i will open web.php file and here i will create route of get and name it let's say form will be inside i think we have some kind of controller here so inside app http controller yeah i have this home controller but it is with authentication so let's create a new controller so let's go here and for this terminal i will say php artisan make controller and controller name will be form controller and it's created now so form controller is here so let's use that here so form controller and index function yes index function oh yes and next name name will be form uh, everywhere is form oh, oh lots of error yeah close this line and similarly create the same route but with a request of post and i will say here is stored so what i have done i have created two routes one for get one for post having the same name and i will call these route with this form okay and it will having on the index function it will be on the store function so let's go here create these two functions so function oops so function pub hit tab and if you are not familiar with sublime i have created uh, custom snippet so you can use that for yourself also by using by seeing that 
Sublime Tech series on Bitfume. So the link is in the description. You can watch that series also. Okay, so here I will firstly return view and view name is form and very simple thing. So let's go to here and slash form hit refresh which says form controller index does not exist yeah because it's name i have to call it index okay so refresh which says c s r f it's c r okay field yeah refresh and yes we have these things so let's do one thing give uh br tag here so that it will look nice yes so this is for name this is for um, email so let's give a placeholder name and this placeholder oops, email say this refresh page yes so everything is looking very nice okay so for validation what we always do for validation we will go to this controller and create that store function so that we will get the data and I will type request dollar request here and now I will say this arrow validate validate to whom request and here I will say firstly name which is a required field so required and having max value of let's say 20 on so here we have to give comma and the comma here and similarly let's say for email it will be 35 uh, it doesn't matter okay and email here so if validation fails we will get the error and we have to show errors here so let's first verify so submit this and we are on the same page because there is some kind of error because of the validation so let's just show that errors so firstly I have to check for errors so dollar uh, so firstly count dollar errors so like this if it is greater than zero then go here and let's say p tag which having class of alert alert danger and let's do for each loop for each of dollar errors arrow all having error so move this up do this and here I will echo out just one thing which is called error so go here refresh the page hit submit and yes we can see we have two errors name field is required the email field is required but now comes the form validation form request validation suppose you have lots of functions here suppose you have 20 forms and each and every form has a function to return its view and has function to store its data so you have to create 20 validations here so for that let's suppose I will create 20 validations so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 even 10 will have your controller messed up and it's only for two fields suppose you have five forms each form containing 20 fields then you have 100 validations line and that validation is doing nothing just validating your request but here in the controller you are going to create the logic so what you can do I will just undo these things so what you can do you can move all these validation in a separate file or a folder called request so let's see how we, we can create these things so now you can see we don't have any kind of uh, request folder inside HTTP folder uh, in our uh, app folder 
so we don't have any request folder now go here and type php artisan make request and request name is, is store form validation so hit enter and you can see request successfully created okay and let's go here and now you can see inside our http folder we have this request folder and our request validation so here we can define the rules so let's just copy that rules from here we even don't have to do anything else delete these things and go here refresh and save this file and we have done but next is the request we are getting in a store function is directly from the request function but we want to move that request to a store validation request then it will go to that store function here so instead of request i will just type a store form validation and here now it will be very easy because our whole validation part is here on the store form validation request so let's just go and see what we are getting refresh the page hit submit and yeah because we have not used this at the top so let's go here press ctrl shift and p say find and this will use the php companion so find use hit enter and yes we can see we have this thing and if you are not familiar with php companion go check out the description for the sublime text series and you will get that on a new video okay so as we have used that at the top let's go here refresh the page and it's now say action is unauthorized for that you have to go to store form validation and just convert it to true it's false for authorize and now it's true let's go refresh again and yes we can see we have these two fields here and our submit and validation is everything is working absolutely fine so you can see it's very much easy and now look at your store function it's super clean the request is separated out and we have this form so next important thing is that suppose this this error is you are getting you don't want this kind of error suppose the name field is required you you want to say the uh, you have to put the name field like that <laughs> okay so let's go here and create a new function so oops create a new function and, and the function name is messages okay and here you just have to do one thing just say that the name dot required is new message which is this is also required and now we have to put these thing inside square brackets and return all these things so return this and even one more which says uh, email is required so I will say here email and here I will say name so here oops here email email is required okay and just close this line okay so name dot required arrow name name is also required so save this file go here refresh the page and hit submit and you can see name is also required email is also required that things are given by us in a new messages function that means now our messages is customized so let's do that for max similarly i will say name dot max now name has not more than 20 cats go here refresh the page and let's data and now submit this page and yes you can see name has not more than 20 cats 
so you can do these things with here also but because this is a separate page and so all these things are separated out and your controller is looking very very clean so so this is an advanced series and before moving to this series i am recommending you to go and watch the level 5.4 beginner series so that you will get all these things and then you will come here and these things will be very easy for you and i will going to post many advanced features of level here very soon and if you have any problem please feel free to comment me don't forget to subscribe and like bitfilms on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye and take care